good morning you guys um it's like 9 almost 9 30 maybe today's june 26th um i just worked out as you can probably tell today's my day off so it's kind of a little not i mean not different i mean let me explain tia has a she does a travel basketball league for the summer and it kind of just started back up after like all the virus and everything so um, they had their a tournament this weekend, and so that's where my mom and Tia are. She had two games yesterday, so my mom drove to Myrtle. Her and my mom drove to Myrtle Beach in the morning, and then my dad worked in the morning, and then drove to Myrtle Beach before her first game, which was at three, I think. And then she had another one at seven. So my dad drove back after the seven o'clock game, so he didn't get home here last night until almost eleven. But she doesn't have any games today, and then she has at least one tomorrow. I don't know if she has any more tomorrow, so my dad's gonna drive there in the morning tomorrow. So I'm kind of just by myself today, or this whole weekend. Um, but today I thought I would go to the beach this morning because it is so nice out. So I'm gonna, so I got up earlier. Um, I got up at like 8.15 to get my workout in. Now I'm gonna eat breakfast, I vlog Nico, and then I'm probably gonna head to the beach. So it'll be a chill day. Um, yeah, so let me make breakfast and then I'll update you after. past 10 10 7 from Nigo took forever to poop he just like went not go to the bathroom so um yeah but finally on my way I'm going to the Isle of Palms I like to go to Sullivan's better but Sullivan's is still like closed um which is the stupidest thing ever you're allowed to I guess you're allowed to sit but you're not allowed to bring chairs or coolers or anything you just have to bring like a towel I guess I don't really know but so I'm gonna go to Isle of Palms. Um, I'm gonna try to go to a station like further down because at Isle of Palms they have like the main, like the county park area where they have showers and everything. But that's where like all the tourists usually go just because it's in the center of everything and then it has the showers and the bathrooms there. So I usually don't like to go there. So I go a few stations down where it's not, usually not as crowded, hopefully, but there's, parking is always hard to find because it's just like obviously first come first serve and it's on the side of the street, so. We'll see if I get any. Hopefully I will because it's kind of early. Usually people don't go till later, so that's why I kind of wanted to get up this morning and get my workout in and then just head to the beach. And then I'll have the rest of the day to chill and do whatever. So I'm going to go do that. I'm so mad. I keep leaving my car tripod in my mom's car and she's obviously in Myrtle Beach, so I can't, I don't have it. My camera's gonna overheat on my dashboard because the sun was blaring on it, but I just finished at the beach. It is a little past 12 now. Um, I was there for about an hour and a half. I probably could have been there a little longer, but I finished my book. Oh, I wanted to talk about my book. I got to Hell with the Hustle. So I got to Hell with the Hustle and I started reading it. I actually got it last weekend. Yeah, I got it last weekend and I read most of it over the span of two days and I just had a little bit left. And I didn't read it all this week, um, but I finished it up today. I didn't have a lot left, so it didn't take me very long. It took me probably like 45 minutes to finish what I had left, if that. Um, so I finished with that book and I also was reading a different book at the same time this week, so I finished that book this week as well. Um, but To Hell With The Hustle was really good. It had a lot of factual information in it, uh, just about, you know, just like the science behind hustling and overworking yourself. And it had a lot of practical ways to realign kind of your life and your ways with Jesus and kind of just like 
settle down and not be so on the go all the time so it was really good just to hear all that information but um, finish that book I actually the other book I was reading is called The House at Saltwater Point by Colleen Coble. I actually got it last summer and I started reading it and I only got to like barely through the second chapter and it kind of wasn't too interesting and I just, I don't know, I was think I was reading something else at the time and I just didn't finish it so I picked it up again this summer and I started reading it more and I like couldn't put it down. It got a lot better and it got really good and I finished it within two days. So, um... I finished that book two days ago and I ordered, it's part of like a series and the book like, it finished, it completes itself but there's like another part of the book that the third book goes into, like it has a whole different story. So although the second book, like the book, sorry I'm confusing, The House at Saltwater Point, that book is the second book in like the series and there's three total. So each book like basically complete like you don't have to read the next one to figure out what happens in this book um but oh my gosh I'm sorry I should have let him go I should have let him go I feel bad um but there's just like another storyline that the next book adds on to of like it opens up a different story if that even makes any sense so I ordered the third book which is the last book of the series last night and it's gonna come Sunday I think so I'm gonna start reading that one next um the third book is called secrets at cedar cabin or something like that so there's that but i'm on my way home right now i'm actually going to go stop at starbucks to get an iced coffee because i'm very sweaty and hot and i a nice coffee sounds amazing right now so i'm gonna go do that um this bathing suit's from airy i love it it's so cute i'm just wearing black high-waisted bottoms with it but love this swimsuit from airy um but yeah i'm on my way home right now so just wanted to give a little update on the books i've been reading and uh yeah so i'm gonna go get iced coffee that literally sounds so amazing right now all right iced coffee secured i don't know how to do this all right, I just got a cold brew with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and one pump of cinnamon dolce and then a light cream. I've actually never gotten this combination before. Oh my gosh, it's spilling everywhere. It's spilling out of the top. Hmm. Can you see that? It's like overflowing. Hmm. Pretty good. All right, I'm gonna head home now um, and then get lunch probably or wait a little bit since I'm drinking coffee. But um, yeah, that's the plan for it right now. For lunch, I'm cutting some of these. Is the mic zoomed in? I thought it was zoomed in. For lunch, I'm cutting some of these small peppers up um, or I'm just like hollowing it out to get the seeds out. Um, and then I made chicken salad. The chicken's just from a can, and then I like to use Greek yogurt instead of mayonnaise just because it's a little healthier and not as fatty and not so many calories. And I put pickles and a little bit of um, a little bit of this sugar-free honey Dijon uh, dressing, and it's really good. Um, and then I added salt and pepper. So um, gonna stuff some of these peppers, and I'll probably put a little bit. Um, I'll probably put some crackers on the side just to be a little more filling and hold me over for a little longer. My dad's working. He actually just called me because just to wonder what we're doing. I, he didn't know if like I wanted to, because as you know, my mom and Tia are still in Myrtle Beach right now and she has games tomorrow. So today they have a free day, as I said. And so my dad didn't know if he, if we wanted, if like I wanted to go with him tonight and like we drive there tonight and stay with them or what if like he was just gonna go in the morning. So I told him that I'm just probably gonna stay here. One, because we have Nico, like we can't leave him obviously here by himself. Um, but also I am gonna ask Narelle to hang out. I haven't seen her in a couple weeks and we haven't really like hung out so my dad actually suggested her to sleep over tonight. We can watch a movie, make dinner or whatever, and then maybe go to the beach in the morning. So I texted her asking if she wanted to do that. So I don't know if she is going to want to. Filled up my last pepper, so I'm gonna eat this and then 
maybe shower, finish my coffee. Literally, the best feeling is getting back from the beach or just like, I don't know, being out for a little bit, coming back, well, specifically the beach. Coming back and like taking a shower, especially if you go like earlier in the morning. It's only 1.30, um, so like getting back in the early afternoon and then having your whole day ahead of you when you're all showered and tan, <laughs> it's literally the best feeling. I love it so much. This dress, oh my gosh, I have to show it to you. Hold on, let me brush my hair first and then I'll get back to you. I remember it as I was brushing my hair that I already showed you this dress, but I've never showed you it on, so. Hold on, I need to point this camera down. This is the dress that I showed last vlog that I got from Forever 21. You can't even see it. Hold on. I'm trying to, oh, here we go. Is that too low? I don't know, but here it is. So cute, I love it. I love putting it on after like going to the beach. It's so just comfy and flowy. Um, but now, um, I think Norelle's gonna come. She replied to me, she said she had to get back to me, but most likely it was going to work. So I need to clean my room. It's, ugh, I feel like every single vlog, my room's just always a mess. I clean it like, I clean it like once a week and then it gets messy like literally two days later. So I'm gonna go clean my room, do laundry, get all that stuff in case she comes over because obviously she can't come over when my room's a mess. So we're gonna go do that. Today's been, I don't know, today's been a good day. I've had, a few like I don't know I just it's just been a good day because I well I'm by myself for one so not that it makes it a good day that I'm by myself but I feel like most days when I'm just alone I'm just like sitting on the couch or like just doing whatever on my laptop but today's been really good it's been like productive and fun like a kind of self-care day if you will worked out this morning went to the beach for an hour or two grabbed Starbucks came back showered read my book finished my book it's just been a pretty good day like I don't really have much to complain about so it's made me feel pretty happy I guess I don't really know what I'm trying to say but um, I'm gonna go clean my room and yeah <laughs> basically finished cleaning my room I vacuumed you saw me make my bed or change my sheets but basically clean that's a blanket just just there's just a couple things that I have to fix and put away but I was starving I guess not starving I don't know I was getting kind of hungry after cleaning I cleaned for like over an hour um so I had my mom made for dinner my mom made like these I don't know, Asian meatballs the other night, and so there were a couple left, so I just had some of those, and then I ran downstairs to get a sparkling water. I think I've said this before, but um, I never really used to be a huge fan of these, because, uh, I don't know, I just, I feel like you either like them or you don't, but they're slowly growing on me the more I drink them, so this one's actually one of my favorites. This one is peach and honey. It's so good. It's one of the better ones that I've tasted. Some of them I don't really like. I can't remember which ones, but this one is pretty good. So, drinking this. Neral still hasn't given me a definite answer, but she said she most likely will. So I think I'm gonna make tacos for dinner. These are really tiny, but my mom just bought these little taco things. These are for like street tacos, I guess. Oh my gosh, they're sweet Hawaiian tortillas. <gasps> Look. What the heck? I didn't know they made them. Well, they're new, so I guess I wouldn't have known, but I think I might make tacos. I saw a uh, turkey, ground turkey downstairs, so that's like a quick, easy, delicious meal to make uh, for two people, so. So, for dessert, I'm going to make these healthy Greek yogurt brownies. Uh, I hope they're going to be good. If not, we have regular brownie mix that I will use, but I found it off Pinterest. There you go. 
Um, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, Norelle's definitely coming, by the way. Um, she's not eating dinner here, though. I made... Well, I was going to make tacos, like I said, and I ended up doing that. I just cooked up our ground turkey, but then I realized I kind of wanted a burrito. So I made a little burrito with ground turkey. We have a little bit of round rice. Round. But round rice I added uh, and salsa. It was really good. So <sighs> now I'm going to make these brownies. Hopefully, I really hope they turn out good. I literally just put it in the oven, and I meant to show you what it looked like, but... It, the batter tastes pretty good like it uh, you can't even see it in there I guess a little bit but the batter consistency was very interesting it was like basically a mousse consistency like if you made them we're trying to make like a mousse a chocolate mousse that's basically what it was like you can't really tell from what's left there but it was very like it looked like it was whipped a lot um, I don't know what this red mark is on my face. Ignore that. But the batter tastes like pretty good. Like it was, so I hopefully, so hopefully the brownies come out good. We'll see. But it's now seven, exactly. And Norelle's coming around eight. Can't promise I'm going to film anything. So don't hold me to it. Here they are. Um, they came out pretty good. I tasted a little piece, as you can see. Hold on, let me close this door. The laundry's going. I tasted a little piece. It's kind of like sponge-like, but I mean, it tastes like pretty decent. It doesn't taste bad. It kind of just tastes like chocolate a little bit, so. Um, overall, I'd probably give it, I mean, I haven't had like a full piece, so maybe once I have a full piece, I can rate it better, but overall, I think I'd give it like a six, seven out of 10, six and a half out of 10. So it's not terrible for healthy brownies, I guess. So you know what? Uh, I guess it's pretty okay. And let there be light. Okay. Stand back to back. You don't talk. What? No, you're not. It's like oh, Hannah. Look at that. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am taller than you. Whatever. Yeah. Good morning. I am gonna continue the vlog just for. A, I'm gonna continue the vlog into a little bit of today because I know this vlog is already kind of long, so I just wanted to make today short since they're finally back and I'm not by myself anymore. And <laughs> I'll see my TikTok. Yeah. So they made it back from Myrtle Beach yesterday. My mom brought me back these cute tops. She brought me back this one. You can't see it. She brought me back this green one it's so cute and then she brought me back a blue one that's like a spaghetti strap and the back of it is like open and it's so cute um <laughs> so yeah i decided to film to film just a little bit today because i want to get a little more action and i know they're back so just filming a little more i actually want to go to starbucks and i want to try the, that new cold brew i don't know if i'm gonna like it to be honest because i don't know if i like like chocolatey coffee so we'll see but I'm gonna give it a try because it's only 40 calories so I mean if I end up loving it then I have a new 40 calorie coffee drink that's good so I do it <laughs> so hi um can I get a grande cold brew with salted cream cold foam Grande cold brew with the salted cold foam. Yeah. And then a grande cold brew with the dark cocoa almond milk foam. And then a grande Megan mango dragon fruit lemonade. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Little, I can't talk. Grande mango dragon fruit lemonade from Twister, okay? Yes, and that's it. Megan? Mango. I keep doing that. Last time I ordered two of that, I said Mangan. It's a mango dragon fruit. <laughs> I can't buy. Megan, Megan, see if it's good. So I'll push out of business at one point. I don't think I was going to make it. Why'd it go to business? Why'd it go to business? Yeah. Because it was so busy and it was making a ton of money. Well, like, why wouldn't that have worked here? I don't know. It's here as well, you know? Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, you can't. Get a good soup. Oh, it's 
it kind of it comes out when you drink it. Good. Yes, thank you. Travel is travel a lot better than the uh... Yeah. So what are you, what are you doing? Yeah. What's that? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. This is interesting. <clears throat> kind of has no flavor. It's all uh -huh. sweet. That you probably don't like it. It's not sweet. I would get, um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would probably get vanilla in the cold brew next time. <clears throat> Save it for the pearl sugar. Oh, that's my favorite. It's so good. <laughs> Alright, official consensus. Um. It's. It's not focusing on me. Alright, it's not recording on me, but official consensus, it's pretty good, but it's definitely, like, I need it a little sweeter, so I actually meant to put sugar-free vanilla in the cold brew, like, order it with that, but I forgot to, so I came back and put a little bit of creamer in it, and it's better, so, um, I think next time if I get it with vanilla syrup in it, in the cold brew, it would be a little better, but not too bad for what this drink is so all right guys that's gonna be it for this vlog i really hope that you guys enjoyed um i'm just finishing editing it right now and thought i should end it so anyways i really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and i will see you in my next one bye